my bathroom. This is episode 15 of the hair color series. Keep a bad thing rolling, doctor. For today, we're gonna be doing color removing. We're going back platinum blonde. We have a toner we're going to do together, and we have another giveaway. For this week, it's a $25 Amazon gift card. All you have to do to enter is comment to comment in the comment box. And don't forget there's a new giveaway every Sunday up until Christmas. The giveaway winner, winner, winner from last week will be at the end of this video. It's timestamp below as well as all the products I'm going to be using and talking about today. None of them are sponsored. So this is an honest product review in the Redneck Salon. See that piece of work, doctor? Whew. Last time we saw each other, we did this money piece. I did go through and put the T18 all over my head. If you look really closely, you can see that I do have hot root here and then a band of darker color going back to yellow to platinum. So I've got three different stories going on in this book. If you're not familiar with T18, the manufacturer's directions say to use it with 20 volume. Typically toners are used with 10 volume, so you do have to be careful if you're using T18 with 20 volume and putting it on darker hair. It will lift and change your hair color. I intentionally put it all over this because I wanted to kind of break up some of this base and get it ready for what we're gonna do today. This is Pulp Riot Blank Canvas. It's a color remover. This is sold at professional hair stores, the ones you need a license to get into, but they do offer this on Amazon. This blank canvas color remover is geared to remove mainly semi-permanent hair colors, the fantasy greens, blues, oranges, and to strip it back to what was underneath. It's not really made for dimmy and permanent hair colors like I have, but it will lift it. Weigh this on the kitchen scale. You put the bowl on the scale and then you zero it out. And it looks just like bleach. For simple math, we'll do an ounce. We can clear that out again. We're gonna add three ounces of developer. And the developer I'm going with today is 20 volume, also by Pulp Riot. For this, it recommends that you use six, 10, or 20. The processing time for this is up to 30 minutes, but it does say you wanna check it every five. It smells just like bleach. Doctor, you better get out of here, son, because those fumes are fuming in here. Whew. What I'm gonna do is section my hair off into four quads. If you're in cosmetology school, that's your basic sectioning. Sectioning, that is a middle part all the way through the back. The highest point of your head is the apex, and that's where the comb will lay flat. So right there, your finger, it's gonna land right behind your ear and you're gonna drag this down. I have hair extensions, so it's not gonna be so crisp and clean as it should be. An easy way to clip hair that looks nice, especially in a salon setting, take a little tail, the other hair, and you're going to wrap it around. Just making a ponytail, put this tail up and then clip it away from their face. Boom. When we're doing color removing, we are not overlapping any place that we don't want the color to be removed. I obviously don't wanna put it on this band of blonde because it's already blonde. That's gonna cause it to break like this. Do you see that? That's from where I did that uh, Sally's hair color, the dark color. It wasn't the color that did that, I don't think. It was me, It's because I did it twice in one day. Shame, shame. Anyway, so yeah, that's what will happen. So we're gonna be focusing on this to this and all of this dark part. Anywhere you have color that you want to remove. If it's your whole head, you're gonna get it on your whole head very quickly. I am putting it on dry hair. You can put this on wet hair. It's really your preference. It's going to spread a lot easier or better on wet hair pretty much just coloring the dark parts it can go on the root but it will lift your root so just be mindful of that in my case that's totally okay I should be wearing gloves these are invisible gloves they're new patent pending just ignore it thin subsection getting the bottom lay it over give it room to breathe give it that air pocket this one is all brown level five I think it was now it's not the end of the world if it touches hair that you don't want it to touch all it's going to do is lighten it a little bit but be careful just make sure it's in okay condition this is an extension you can see it's already working how you move forward from this is you always Always work either in the front first or the back first if you're in a salon setting it's wiser to do the back first because if it processes too fast you can put them in the shampoo bowl and just rinse out the back for me at home it's easier for me to do my front first so I can lean over in the kitchen sink and give it a good redneck rinse but you do not want to go here and here we need the front to process at the same time and the back to process at the same time did that make any sense other side being very mindful to only touch the parts that are dark no more super thin subsection not doing the ends of my hair they're already porous fried dried whatever just focusing on this band of dark and this little skunk stripe getting the top woo 
getting the bottom. Now, because of the amount of developer, again, it's a one to three rate, one to three ratio. So one part of this remover, which is essentially a low key bleach to three parts of developer, the creamy stuff, it's really diluting that down. So it's not going to burn as bad. It's going to be a lot gentler, more gentle, more gentle. It's going to be more gentle on your hair, safer or whatever, than just throwing bleach on it or doing a bleach bath. The only downside to products like this are they are more expensive. A tub of bleach, what is it, like $30 now? One packet of this, 10 ish dollars but it's better to use this for the integrity of your hair or your client's hair now if you're working in a salon setting or going to be it's great to do corrective color because this in my opinion is considered corrective color some people charge by the hour 120 an hour because corrective coloring is hard it's not easy but you do use a lot of color removers in that process now as far as the extensions is it going to loosen up these extensions i have no idea i sure hope so in a perfect world i would have taken them out already but because i'm letting them fall out. This is where we're at. So that's it. You're pretty much just playing paint by numbers, just covering up any parts you want to be removed. Oh yeah, look at that. That's nice. I'm just going to quickly go through and do the back the best I can. As usual, I don't care about the back. Like I'm not looking at it. If you have a buddy that could help, this would be a time for them to help to do the back. And shoot, they may like it. They might, they might want to start doing this themselves. Let them give it a go. You never know. You might find your new career. You could do something like this, showing other people. You could do movie sets. You could have a salon. You could do a mobile salon. Those are fun. We have one here that's in a Airstream van and it's got video games, barber chair. It's more for men, but women can go, but it's geared for men, but it'll just show right up to your house. Get your hair cut. There's so many cool things to do in this field if you're thinking about it. And you never know until you get in and try. It is starting to burn a little bit, but only in the back. It's not anything that's like bad, but you know the saying around here, a little bit of burn is okay, except in the bedroom. Red flag, get out of there. <laughs> Run as fast as you can, or maybe too late, I guess. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Oh, that's beautiful shade of orange. Check that out. Now, if I weren't going level 10 platinum blonde, I would have just focused on that color and left off my roots. Because again, you have to worry about hot roots, which is just your roots being a bright, bright, bright orange or yellow color and the rest of your hair being a totally different shade. But I need my roots and the rest of this to be level 10. So it's okay in my case. Just be aware of that though, if you're duplicating this at home to do the roots last, if your goal is not level 10. Now we're gonna take the Dollar Tree cap, checking it every five minutes. So we'll go ahead and talk about the toner we're gonna use today and it is a 9.7 Which is a 9 V which means it is a level 9 hair color, which is almost platinum blonde Number nine, violet, purple. This is a permanent hair color, but I'm gonna use it as a toner. What makes it a toner is just using tin volume on wet hair for about 15 minutes. I know toners can be a little bit confusing because this box doesn't say toner, but any permanent hair color can be used as a toner or a rinse. This is by Provano. This is also a professional line that you have to have a license to grab, but it is available on Amazon. Some of the colors may be hard to get, but y'all don't sleep on eBay. Y'all forget about eBay. eBay is still cool. So here's what it looks like, the tube. Three ounces here. We're going back in with a kitchen scale. It looks like this, and it'll start turning purple once the air hits it to oxidize it. Tappy slap beat around so it's not chunky, or use your whisk and kind of whisk it up. I'm gonna do a one-to-one -one ratio, so one part hair color, one part developer. This is tin volume, because we are just depositing. I don't want to lift anything up. I just want to deposit that tone of violet to cancel out this. Cat P yellow. Now I'm gonna check on this. What I'm waiting for is for this to be at least a level nine. If it's anything darker than a level nine, a seven, eight, it is not going to take this toner. It may change it a little bit, but it's going to be very uneven. So what's gonna happen when we put this toner on, because I have hot roots, level 10 roots, it's going to tone my roots down or change them to a level nine, what I want, but the level eight is going to stay a level eight. So it's still going to appear that I have hot roots. The goal is for this to be an even hair color or as much as possible. That looks close enough. I mean, honestly, it should be left on a little bit longer, but it is starting to burn my head. Not gonna power through that, okay? I'm just not. Nothing fancy today. Hang on, let me get out of the shower. I have to, uh, yeah, I have to put that towel there because if not, you can see the ring. You can see the ring light. I don't actually use that towel. It's just there to cover that up. Cause y'all, I've never in my lifetime had a towel this fancy. <laughs> no ma'am. All my towels say Holiday Inn on them. So what we're using today, one of my favorite shampoos, Pantene Repair, wait, Pantene Moisture Shampoo. And I really like this conditioner also, Pantene Pro-V Repair. It's 
totally okay to use this. A lot of people do get mad at me for recommending drugstore brands, I guess, because I know that's like a big no-no in the hairdressing world. I think it's important to realize that we all don't have $30 to spend on shampoo. Now, is this the best shampoo in the world for you? No, but it is good enough. I alternate between the, this lower end brand and uh, right now I'm using, what is it? Olaplex. Olaplex right now. I guess I can mix them together. I wonder how that would do. Put this and Olaplex in the bottle. I don't know about it, but anyway, don't let anyone make you feel guilty if you're not using $40, $50, $60 shampoo. Anyway, that's enough of that. Okay, I'll be right back. I'm gonna shampoo it with this. All I had left are these little, little bitty towels. The housekeeper is behind on laundry. That's me. This is a perfect canvas, exactly what I was looking for. This nice golden pea, beautiful. Little refresh on toners. They can go on wet or dry hair. Now, if you're in a salon setting, after you shampoo out the hair and the client's in the bowl staring at you with the eyes, you're gonna put your toner on then. Just real quick, pour it on there, massage it in, put a hot towel over their face so they can quit without eyeball staring stuff, 15 minutes. Now, if you're in your redneck salon like me, you just kind of slap it on like this. I'm gonna focus on the parts that need attention the most which is the top. And you are going quick with this toner. Because it's wet, if you're doing it on wet hair, it is going to spread a lot better. If you're doing it on dry hair, also try to be quick and just take really thin subsections. Same thing with the toner. I start on this side, I'm gonna move to the side. I'm not going to the front, back, back, this in a circle. I'm going front or back first. Pick a lane and stay there. And that saying goes to the lady who almost hit me at Home Depot too yesterday. In the rare chance you're watching this, pick an ang lane and stay there. If you are past the age of 80, let's just call 85, you need to retake your driver's test. It's your birthday? Okay, go take your driving test again. Go take it again. The government already gives us enough presents having to pay taxes and all this stuff on our birthday. Go ahead, renew your license, renew your plate, whatever, go ahead. Go ahead and retake your driving test right there. Add one more thing to the list. I promise you, we do not care at this point. <laughs> Y'all already messing with us enough. Go ahead. Once this is done processing at my root, I'm just gonna take a wide tooth comb and brush it through and kind of work it through the ends. I'm gonna let this process for 15 minutes and then I'm gonna shampoo and condition it again, blow dry it, and I'll show you the results. So I will be right back. Now it's not perfect. You can see I still have this zebra stripe. It is a copper color. It's not my favorite, but it's wearable. I do have parts where I have a band of darker color. So a lot of that could be corrected by me leaving it on longer, but it was burning. I don't know about it, but I like it for the results. I mean, considering this is mainly geared for semi-permanent temporary hair color, those fashion blues, greens, yellows, oranges, reds, the very vibrant colors. Again, it's not really geared for browns, permanent colors. So it did really well considering that. And you know what this would be really good for is if your hair is too dark and you just wanted to lighten it up a bit without doing a soap cap or a shampoo cap, you could do this instead for about five minutes and kind of break that base. That would be very, very good. But as far as removing, like if you had a level four dark hair color, as far as removing all of that, I wouldn't use this. I would use a totally different product, but to break the base and get a couple levels of lift, this is good. And my hair, um, again, it was kind of fried to begin with, but it didn't do any damage to my hair. Now let's move on to the giveaway for last week. This is, why can't I remember these? Oh yeah, this is for the $50 Brad Mondo gift card, yay. Everybody who commented something is in the spinny wheel and we're gonna spin it together right now. If this is you, you're going to email me here. It's also in the description box. And I'm going to inspect your gadget and make sure that this is you, verify your account, and I will send you your $50 Xmondo gift card. Might I recommend this product, BDSM. Don't forget, this week's giveaway is a $25 Amazon gift card. Just comment something below, and we have a new giveaway every week up until Christmas which is gonna be here soon, y'all. Whoo, giddy up. But yeah, that's it for today. Thanks again for joining me here in the bathroom and I will see you next week for something cool. Actually, we're just gonna chop that off there. Something cool, something cool, something cool. Okay, put the scissors down. Okay, see ya, see ya, see ya.